One Piece chapter 818 review. So why don't we start off with the Poneglyph. Now, so Robin decrypts decry the Poneglyph. She translates it and we find out that this Poneglyph is essentially part of one of, of a set of four Poneglyphs. This set of four Poneglyphs, when put together, will give you the information required to and the location and everything required to help navigate to the Island of the Rattel. She even was able to make a map and give it to Nami that would help her navigate her way to uh, its location. Now, so it doesn't exactly tell you where Rattel is, it's just a piece of a puzzle. You have to find all four Poneglyphs and put everything together to get there. Now, this is why nobody had ever done it before. He's the only one in the world left that can read the Poneglyphs is Nico Robin, and the, and Ohara was wiped out prior to the death of Gold Roger. So before, after Ohara was wiped out, everybody was kind of already after One Piece. But before that, nobody really was because, you know, Roger hadn't made his big announcement yet. And also, who wanted to fuck with Roger? But the point was with that, People have to realize this is a big deal being to talk about how important Robin is. But I'll get into that later when I talk about Robin, because Robin getting her own segment in this review. But the point is, is that along with the Poneglyph comes the lo location of two other road Poneglyphs. Those are what the red Poneglyphs are called, the road Poneglyphs. Now, the two other road Poneglyphs, well, two of them, they're, one of them is unknown, and the other two are in the possession of the two of Binyoko, Big Mom and Kaido. Now, some are speculating that uh, the unknown Poneglyph is in the hands of red-haired Shanks, or red-haired Shanks knows its location. This is very possible. He was a member of Roger's crew. But, so what, then what we pretty much need to talk about now is how they're going to handle the situation with the Yoko and what the Straw Hats are going to do. Luffy makes it very clear that he is excited. He talked about how, is One Piece there, or is it not? Is it exciting? I'm gonna be the Pirate King. He's getting hyped. Overexcited. And people are telling him, like, dude, chill. But, what happens in this chapter is pretty much they start talking about what they're going to do next. Luffy, of course, is pretty much saying, we'll go get Sanji, then we'll go, and we'll take the Poneglyph from them. Now, the response of all the others is pretty much like, no. Especially Usopp. Usopp is especially against this. He's like, no, this is stupid. I thought we would go after but Yoko much, much, much later down the line. We're not ready. You're not ready, Luffy. I love that. That was really good content. But that is beside the point. What happens in this chapter that I love is that they point out that you can make copies of the information on the Poneglyph, and that is what everybody is really interested in. All you would need to do is get onto the ship and steal the copies of the Poneglyph, and then you could bring that with you, and Robin could decrypt that, and then they would know how to get there. Now, this is the plan they're probably going to go with, but it will also probably get screwed up because a lot of things will probably happen because, you know, you need a problem in a story. Not everything can go according to plan. But now let's move on because I do want to talk about Robin separately from everything else before I move on to a couple other things. Now, there was a line in the chapter about somebody taking Robin away. Now, what I believe this means is that somebody going to kidnap Robin. Again, now, I don't necessarily like the idea that's happening because it just adds on to the whole, oh, whatever a straw hack at Kester is going to be Nami or Robin because they're girls. But one is Japan, and Japan does view women differently. And you also need to realize that this isn't because Robin's a woman. The mindset of whoever takes Robin isn't going to be, I want to take the weak women to get the straw hat. No. The mindset is, this woman can get me to the fucking One Piece. This woman can make me the Pirate King. I want this woman. Like, I need her. Like, I need this woman in my life. I need this chick in my life so she can make me the Pirate King. Because not anybody else in the world can read the Poneglyph. Now, the person I believe that will be taking Robin, I'll be doing a video furthering and explaining my reason for this, and why I believe he'll be the final villain, is Blackbeard. Because when you think about it, Blackbeard needs to get to the One Piece. Blackbeard also has the same goal as Luffy, to be the Pirate King. Now, some of you may be saying, I don't necessarily want this to happen or whatever. It's going to happen. Alright, Blackbeard and Luffy are going to fight, and I feel like it make it even more 
an intense fight if he somehow pissed Luffy off again by at one point in the theory trying to take Robin from him. That would just make Luffy even angrier. And that would give him even more of a reason to want to kick Blackbeard's ass. So I feel like it'd be some insurance, some extra motivation for Oda to give Luffy to fight Blackbeard. Now, there is one more thing I want to talk about. One more thing. And that is, of course, my thoughts on the chapter overall to the joke, comedy, art, and the rating. So yeah, let's do that. In terms of comedy, this chapter was great. It had some great moments. There was one moment, one moment in this chapter that I loved. With Gwen, Luffy pretty much said they're going to be taking on Big Mom and Kaido. And Nami's like, I'm going to fate. Usopp is like, no, no. Brooke is like, he's like, I can see myself dying already. I thought we'd be doing it much, much later. We can't fight on Yonko yet. I love that because I agree with it. But it's really good really well written material now there is one thing i will point out the chapter that i didn't like very much which was i didn't like how at one point in the chapter now i could put it down i i like it now i've now understand it better but when they first said there were like four podiums i was a little freaked out i was like and they're gonna be kind of some bullshit, like, we need to find all four Podoglyphs. I don't know, we can't get to One Piece, so now we need to go on a scavenger hunt. I thought it was gonna be something like that, but no, it's a much bigger thing. The Podoglyphs are pretty much just motivation for Luffy to take on Kaido. And now, of course, Luffy has the natural reason to fight Kaido, which is because of his dream. And because of the fact that, of course, the people, uh, Kaido and, his, and him, the Beast Pirate, killed Momonoke's dad who was a member of the Roger Pirates, apparently, and of course, you know, took over Wano Kingdom. And Luffy doesn't like tyrants, especially if a tyrant is a pirate. He feels it's not what a pirate should be. A pirate should be free, not hurt, not a conqueror, or something to hurt people. But this chapter was amazing. Actually, amazing chapter. There, uh, I did also love how when they said to Robin they were going to take her away, how she smiled and she was like, I have great friends who will protect me. I don't need to worry about that. That was amazing. There were laws, expressions throughout the chapter were great. You also had when uh, Usopp was like, you can become the pirate king like through this secret, tricky chapter and everything. Luffy's face when Usopp made that suggestion was great. It was great. It was one of the best faces. It actually appeared to be a post time skip version of the <coughs> of the one he made um when he found out uh the old the old lady from Water Seven was a mermaid. Did you remember he was like, oh god, a magic her that a mermaid is terrifying. Then of course he never saw that due to his fight with Lucy. But yeah, I mean there were so many great moments in this chapter. If I honestly had to rate it, I would give it like a fifteen out of ten. It was amazing. Only real problem with it was there was a little too much information. I feel like they threw a little too much at us. But since all the information and stuff we've been wanting for so long, I don't really care. So yeah, 15 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And trust me, I have a ton of videos I'll be making and talking about and releasing, covering this stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.